Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm a pro. Do you have closet doors? Do you have a closet with no doors? Th then, then today's your lucky day. I have the solution that you've all been looking for. Here's what you're gonna need. Here, stick around. A simple DeWalt saw. A simple DeWalt table saw. A grinder for cutting metal. Some jed clampets. Tape measure. A simple utility knife. A caulk gun for spreading caulk. Drill bits. A level. A simple stud finder. <laughs> Check it out, it really works. <laughs> a pencil. A drill. Well, two drills. So here, here is the kit we're gonna, we're gonna install today. These are, they say barn. These I picked up from my local Menards. The, you need two for a bypass. Bye, bypass. We're gonna put those right there. We have two doors. That is 48 inch opening. And we are gonna, at 48 plus 24 is six feet. Hey, let's open these puppies up. What do you say? You're gonna need a utility knife for this one. Now that, now that that's done, we're gonna move on to the next step. Now that we have our boxes open, what do you think we do next? You got it, you get the directions. And if you're a man, you throw them away. Now that you have those directions really far from you, you've been working pretty hard. It's, it's been a couple minutes. You're gonna wanna get a refreshing drink of coffee and re refuel. Hey everyone, Dan here. Tell you, we had, we had a minor setback. Since we're doing a, a bypass doors, I read the back of the box. The box says you're gonna need a bypass kit. And listen, one other thing, no studs. We're gonna have to put a solid piece of wood here, right there. So I had to run to the store, Menards, traffic. But guess what? Great moments present great opportunities. Why, why fall when you can rise and put wood so it's strong? Let's get to work. Hey, Dan here, listen up. Got this mounted, check it out. This is a one by. I used a stud finder. Look at it. Nails, 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 nails. And check this out. Since the height of the closet opening wasn't tall enough because I have an 80 and three quarter. I have, because I have an 80 inch door. Tall, tall, 80 inch tall door. Opening's 82, so listen up. I had to fill this in with the two by four because here's, here's where the height of my track's gonna be, right there. Hey, listen up. I had to put two by four here. This is, well, my lag screws are going into the two by four. That's strong. So we're gonna get this mounted and then we're gonna do other things too. Maybe, maybe I'll take you along for the ride. Hey, look, great news. We got all the wood mounted. Doesn't that look pretty? With a two by four underneath. I think I covered that. But listen, here's our bypass kit. And look, it's pretty big. And look, we have a pretty low ceiling. So here, here's the problem. My hole's supposed to line up with this hole. This hole supposed to line up with this hole. Oh no. So listen, now I gotta cut an inch and three quarters off this. It's either that or, or cut a hole in the ceiling so I can raise this up an inch and three quarters. I'd rather cut this. Let's do that. Hey, so before, before I go any further, I had to purchase this fun tool. Every homeowner should have this by the way already. So listen up, wear your PPE when cutting and grinding. Man, I just love the smell of burnt flesh in the morning. <laughs> Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, we're gonna start painting this. This application, you could do whatever you want. This application, the homeowner wanted this board to be wall color, to match the wall. Instead, 
of the trim color, which is white. I could have painted this wall color white. This application, like I said, we're doing wall color. What you want to do, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, this is what you want to do. Let me flip this around. You want to take your brush and you want to cut that paint in. Do that along the entire length of the board. This is so easy, any homeowner can do this. This is a good thing. We're cut in. Look at that cut job. Wow. Next step is to start rolling. This is what we're gonna use. This is a four inch foam roller. This will make very smooth, smooth. Let's get some paint on it. It's a roller. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Let's get some more paint on there. We got more paint on. Don't forget, bring the goods. Isn't that nice? Hey everybody, Dan here. Guess what? We're done for today. That's what we got done. We got two pieces of wood up and painted and laid out for a barn door track. Two uh, with a bypass track for two closet doors. Hey, listen, what should have taken one day. Now, guess what? Taking maybe two, hopefully two. The only thing that went as planned is that nothing goes as planned, which is pretty normal. So listen up. The next time you're a homeowner and you want to do this, think again. Maybe call a professional. I'm a pro. Well, here we are, day two of closet doors. And, and guess what? Homeowner doesn't like what's there. Came home and she saw it. She said, I don't like that. Can we put real wood and stain it with a dark walnut? I said, yes, yes, we can do that. Very simple, easy to do. So lucky for you, I got to show you how to paint in case you want to paint. And now I'm going to show you how to stain too. It's your lucky day. It's like two for two for one for a FOBO. Did you get a FOBO? Hey, when, when life gives you lemonade, you drink it. That's what we're doing here. Well, let's tear this off. Hey, here we are. It's a beautiful day outside. Here's what we have. Here's what we're gonna do. Now, we're gonna take that wood down, just like I said. Now, we're gonna put up this fresh pine. I got this from the store. It's still wrapped. I know, I have to unwrap it. I recommend you do too. Here's what we're gonna do. Listen up. We're gonna stain it with a dark walnut and this brush. This brush, I'm gonna dip it in there. See this? I'm gonna dip it and then brush it on. Let's get to staining. Hey everybody, it's Monday. We started this project Thursday. Last week, Thursday, we started. And what did we do Friday? We got these puppies all stained up. Pretty, look at it. Doesn't that look good? I guess my, my face. What are we gonna do now, Dan? Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad you asked. These are pretty rough. They got a coat of poly on them. We're gonna take this 400 grit sandpaper we're gonna sand these down. Let's get started. Hey, good job. I just wanna congratulate you on your first sand job. But guess what? Look at it. Now it looks like it's coated with a fine coat of dust. That's not good. Here's what I do. I have a pre-made solution of quarter vinegar and water. And I give it a light spray and I wipe it down. This is really what you wanna to use to clean your wood floors too. Pro tip, just give it a light spritz. Look at that spritz job. A nice little wipe down, and you have yourself a real nice board. <laughs> wow, good job. That looks super. Hey everyone, back inside where it's cool. Listen up. So now we're gonna put our new board here. As you can see, old one's gone. Here's my old line where the old board came to. I don't wanna go there, I wanna go a little bit past there. So I measured about an eighth inch past that line, and that's where I'll cut my new board. And then for ripping, I'm gonna cut a little bit past all this stuff. So it's gonna hang down just a little bit more. So it's gonna give more girth, more stuff to bite into. That's good. Oh boy, here, here we have uh, another issue here. So as you can see, when I took this caulk off and the painted boards, guess what? It left the line, as you can see. Let me show you over here. Look at this. Can you see that? Un unreal. What do we do? Uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to patch that. So I'm gonna patch that with really quick dry spackle. Quick dry spackle. I'm gonna spackle that and then I'm gonna sand it before I put the new wood up so it looks pretty. That's done. 
Looks good. Hey, good job. Look at that. I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll give it a quick sand. And then, of course, I'll have to paint it once it's done. Pro tip, hair dryer helps that stuff dry real quick. I got this board mounted for again, again, the stained one mounted for the first time again. And listen, pro tip for you. Now, when you're laying out your door, obviously you're not gonna be able to see a pencil mark on this dark walnut color. So here's what you do. Painter's tape, you put it there and then you can mark it. Look it, there's my level line. Now, when I hold the track up there, I can mark the holes and then drill the holes for the track mounts. Good tip. Thanks, Dan. Hey, everyone. Dan back. Dan back here with uh, some more some more news. We got the track mounted. And when you get the track mounted, you can get the door mounted, too. I know it's crazy. It just happened so fast. Only three days. But wait, we're not done. We have, remember, bypass door. Up here, you can see right above these brackets, I have the bypass brackets, holes marked and drilled, marked, and drilled. Can you believe this progress? This door slides. Oh, wow. Hey, let's get the bypass track mounted, and then we'll get the door mounted, and then we'll be all done. Hey guys, pro tip. Whoa, what's going on? Look at this. I thought, I bet you thought this would never happen. Look it. Tracks, both tracks, done. These doors slide. Whoa. Only one thing left to do. Well, two things left to do. Now, one of them is enjoy them. But the other thing, let me flip this around. We still need to put handles. These handles, as you can see, they're flat with a little indentation on the back, which means, you guessed it, I have to chisel out the door right here where this little indentation will lie. Hope you have a chisel kit. Mr. Homeowner, this is gonna be fun. Let's get to chiseling. Hey, check it out. This is a chisel kit. If you don't know, now you know. Learning, teaching you every day. Stuff. Listen, listen up to here. I got this laid out. Can you see that? Here, let me get it closer. Can you see those marks? I got, I got to chisel that out. Once that chiseled out, these handles go on no problem. Let's get going. Here's how to chisel. Here, here's a chisel, beveled head against the wood. And then you take your hammer, you beat it off right there. If you've ever riddled wood with your grandfather on a porch drinking lemonade, you know how to do this. Hey guys, guess what? You're done. You are, you're done. Check it out. There's your doors. Here's your hardware. Good job. You guys did good. Class dismissed. But wait, let's check them out. These are gonna slide over. What did I just do? I revealed your whole closet opening. Now you can always view your precious moments or all your clothes. Let's flip, let's flip this around. Now doesn't that look special? Hey guys, listen up. No need to call a pro when you can do all this yourself. It's all in the details. Doesn't that look great? There you have it. If you've learned anything, and you like this video, thank you. One million subscribers is, is very hard to get to, and I've done it in very little time. Thank you for watching.